All right, guys, so this is the second video for our printmaking unit. So the first video was a lot of prep, right? How to prepare our plate uh, for printing and how to basically get ideas and the supplies that we needed. Now, this is how to prepare your background. So um, these are in the PowerPoint, I'm sorry, these are in the um, video presentation you saw me doing. And they're basic instru instructions on how to get backgrounds. And um, it says you're going to need a board, a plastic bag, glue, and your paint and your paper to get this going. And it had specific little images that told you you need to spread glue down. You need to put your bag on it, tape it, and then print with it. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. And uh, I'm going to help you prepare two of them. So you had, um, when you grabbed your printing, your, your uh, sorry, railroad board to make your printing, you cut it in half, right? So you have this other half. So the other half is for your background, okay? Because we're going to put in a series, print in a series of colors just like Andrea uh, Lauren does. So this is our background. I'm going to grab, and I'm going to follow these steps right here because I'm going to do a bag. And these are the exact same steps for um, bubble wrap. I don't have any bubble wrap with me, but if I did, they would be the same exact steps. I just love the way bubble wrap prints, and that's why I mentioned it. So I'm going to put glue down, make sure I get my corners well, just like they did in these images that I posted for you. Now, I don't want it to be real, like, lumpy glue, so I'm going to grab that little piece of paper that I have, and I'm just going to go ahead and spread it thin a little bit. Not too much. So I do want a little lumpiness, but not a lot. I am going to go ahead and grab just a bag that I have here in the classroom. You can use any kind of bag. I am going to cut off the extra. Let me go ahead and cut that for you. So I cut the bag quite a bit bigger than what I needed because I want to be able to wrinkle the bag like this image shows. And I want to wrinkle the bag and make my cool pattern with it. So, um... If you're here in the classroom or at home, please use a mat underneath so you don't get glue all over your working surface or your table. So I went ahead and put my bag here. And I am just going to attach this and make sure I get a pretty good amount of wrinkling with my bag. I want very few areas that are uh, not glued. So I'm after I glue it there's some areas that the bag overlaps itself so I'm kind of stretching it open so it can get glue underneath it and then I'm moving it back like see right here the bag is kind of close together where like they overlapped well I'm going to move it around so it can get glue on it and then reposition my wrinkling so that I don't have floppy pieces of you know bag so again I went ahead and got my texture I hope you can see that okay in the video tape is not necessary I just like tape so you have your leftover masking tape still. You still have, you should still have some left. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm... So anyway, I am going to grab some tape and just tape my whole back. You know, interestingly enough, when you tape this whole back, you could even print the back and it gives you something interesting. I don't like to, but um, some people really like with the combination of the wrinkled bag and the negative space of the cardboard leftover and the tape does. So... Um, if you like that, that's up to you. So this is how you prepare a plastic bag background for printing. Um, the next one that we talked about in our presentation was the bubble wrap. Remember, same exact steps. Spread the glue, add the bubble wrap, tape it from the back, and apply the paint and print. And in our next video, we're going to actually print with it. Um, so that's that. Our next one... And these will be the exact same ones. Our next one that we looked at our presentation was a wipe and... Well, actually, I think it was a scratch. There you go. It was a scratch print. So here's what you need to do for that. Now, at home, you probably don't have the supplies that we're going to use for it. Um, but if you do want to and you come up here for a band or orchestra or theater and you want to pick up a transparency, I can give you one. But basically what you need is a piece of clear plastic anything plastic so if you at home have an old folder you know like those plastic folders you can cut a piece of that to the size of your block and you can use that anything plasticky works um you can use um, a styrofoam plate from home you know like those uh disposable plates you can use that but just anything plasticky that the ink will go off of you can use 
here at school, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our little leftover cardboard that we had from when we cut it in half. And we're going to take a transparency. And we're going to spread glue all over this transparency. We are. I'm sorry, my little boy's here with me. Um, so we're going to spread glue on the whole thing, get our edges really well. And I'm going to move this glue around so I can prepare that background. And um, I'm going to take this transparency and I'm just going to put it right on top and smooth it out. Now, I should have spread my glue a little bit better because I want this stuck on really well. So when you spread your glue, make sure you get to all your edges with your glue. And if you spread the glue nicely, it won't have air bubbles. But anyway, so there it is. It's a little bit bigger, as you can see, from my actual thing. So I'm just going to take my pair of scissors and cut this off after it's glued. So the first two videos are all prep. How do you prepare a background? How do you prepare a plate for us to start printing? And by the way, this is also called a plate because it's something that we're going to print with. So that's a plate, that's a plate. These are all plates. I wanted to show you what I did with mine. Um, I decided not to go with a little flower and I decided to mainly focus on the butterfly. And so this is what I did. I added a little baby butterfly there and I glued it, but I wanted to show you that um, don't try to cut all your pieces perfect. Sometimes it's really hard to get them right on the edge. So when I did mine, I just glued everything where I wanted. And I just took a pair of scissors and I cut off the extra right here. And then I had my plate all even and all edges. So that's the first two videos. They're all prep. So our next video, we're actually going to print now because we're ready to print. So um, one last thing before I forget. This one right here, the wipe and draw kind of background is going to be this exact same thing right here with the transparency or anything plasticky that you have at home. All right, guys, let's look at our new video.